Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So recently a lot of people have been asking me what's the best map to farm at? What's the best rotation? When should I loot? What's the loot timer? How do I properly loot? How do I properly rotate certain maps? So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the two best maps to farm on with a shadower or honestly any class that has a certain summon paired with Urda shower. A lot of these rotations are definitely doable for most classes. Obviously with Shadow or with Nightlord, you do have the plus of farming with Marks, but if you're not a Marks class, don't worry, you can still use this exact rotation. It just might not be as good as a Shadow or a Nightlord would perform. So first map first, the best map to farm in in the game, arguably, obviously most people have already found out about this map by now. If you farm here regularly right now, currently, you definitely can tell how busy this map is. But if not, well, now you know. So first things first, this map is very, very, very simple to farm on now. It used to be a little bit more sweaty back in the day when you only had dark flare, but now this rotation is extremely, extremely simple. Pretty much all you do is just rotate left to right left right as you can see in the video there's not really much to it it's pretty simple it's pretty relaxed pretty lazy you can just rotate one side chill for a second take a sip of water eat a snack type in a twitch chat do whatever you want to wait for the mobs to spawn and then go left now obviously you can't only just go right and left you do need to place your summons so you can pretty much just throw shadow veil down right away when you go to rotate and place your summons you will want to place urda nova in the bottom left right in front of this ladder facing left and then you want to place dark flare slightly to the left of the ladder this way you're pretty much going to ensure that you're clearing the entire bottom of the map while rotating on the top and then some tips when you are done placing your summons make sure that you shadow veil up to the very top use trick blade to clear the very top middle and third platform down from the top so now that we've gone over LH6 let's move into the next map so this is a map that is extremely popular in KMS and it probably will become popular here in GMS there's already a lot of people that are flooding into it the burning is already all gone so I'm going to share it with you guys if you are looking for a map to solely train in this is not going to be your best map anymore there's no burning in this map so if you're looking for exp rates not the map to go to if you're looking to farm this is a good map to go to because of the high mop count and the laziness of farming so this is going to be a very similar but different rotation to LH6 it's pretty much the same but in complete reverse same thing with the attacking you just want to go left right left right super simple with that as you guys can see but when you are done and when you're about to place down your summons you want to place shadow rail on the right side as the mobs are starting to spawn and then once the mobs spawn then you want to assaulter to the left clear the mobs go into the portal the portal will take you to the top right jump down you can place urda nova immediately when you drop down you don't need to move and place it at any certain position you can just place your summon and then flash jump and assaulter left onto the platform and then place down your dark flare the dark flare on this side at, on this platform will clear the entire left side and a little bit of the right as well so your entire top part of your map should be covered. Marks shouldn't play a factor in this map at all, even though it looks like they are helping. Dark Flare and Urda Nova are completely clearing the top of this map. And yeah, guys, this is pretty much the two top best maps that I have found when farming. Um, not only are they some of the two best in terms of mob count, but they are definitely the two top best in terms of laziness for farming. So it's super, super nice. You can pretty much farm at max efficiency and max mob count, which makes farming so much easier. I know at least for me back in the day when I used to counter farm, I would sweat so much to try and get like maximum rates and sometimes not even full clear the map because my Kana was extremely weak. So I had to do a bunch of weird, crazy stuff and Tengu and jump down. And it's just not fun when you're trying to do that. And you're definitely not going to be able to cap out max rates for a long period of time maybe for one hour this way it's much easier to just cap out rates the entire time because of how simple it actually is but if you guys have any other potential map suggestions that you want me to go over give you guys my opinions on i would definitely love to so leave those in the comment section below if you have any but with that being said that is going to wrap up the video for today guys just a quick video and this is a video that a lot of people were asking for so i did want to make a response to all the questions that i've been getting recently i appreciate you all tuning into the video and like i said if there are any map subject suggestions or maps that you want me to give my thoughts on leave them in the comment section below but with that being said guys i will see you all in the next video take it easy
Peace.